hydrogen deficiency index and degrees of unsaturation. To be fully saturated means to contain the maximum number of hydrogens. So if you have n number of carbons, then your number of hydrogen atoms is 2n plus 2. This ratio of carbons to hydrogens corresponds to alkanes with no heteroatoms. Each pi bond in a molecule decreases the number of hydrogen atoms by a factor of 2, so a pi bond represents 1 degree of unsaturation. Consider a structure that has a ring, like cyclohexane. Cyclo cyclohexane has 6 carbons and 12 hydrogens. So the formula is C6H12 corresponding to CnH2n. That means a ring is also a degree of unsaturation. It's useful to be able to calculate the HDI because you can just look at a chemical formula and determine the number of rings plus the number of pi bonds. Now let's look at the effect of heteroatoms on the number of hydrogens. So let's just consider methane. It's a carbon with four hydrogens that's fully saturated. Say we wanted to include an oxygen in there. Well, then it would be OH. So we still have four hydrogens. That means that the number of oxygens does not affect the HDI. If we replace the oxygen with a nitrogen, then we add one hydrogen. So when you have a nitrogen, that increases your expected number of hydrogens by one. If we replace one of the hydrogens with a halogen, represented here by an X, we decrease by one the expected number of hydrogens. So if we include these effects, we get this equation for hydrogen deficiency index. The hydrogen deficiency index, again, is the number of rings plus the number of pi bonds. So since each ring or pi bond decreases the total number of hydrogens by two, that's why we have this one half. And then, this is the expected number of hydrogens minus halogen. Two times the number of carbons, plus two, as you would have in a fully saturated alkane, plus one for nitrogen, minus the actual number of hydrogens you have, minus the halogens. Notice there's nothing about oxygen in this equation. If you happen to have a carbonyl, well, that's a pi bond. Go ahead and calculate the degrees of unsaturation for the molecule C5, H9, and O. Pause the video while you work. When you've got the answer, unpause it, and you can see what I got. So the number of carbons is 5. The number of nitrogens is 1. We have no halogens. Oh, and the number of hydrogens is 9. This means our HDI is 1 half of 2 times 5 plus 2 plus 1 minus 9. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13 minus 9 is 4. 1 half of 4, which equals 2. So the answer is 2 degrees of unsaturation.